Welcome to this week's PHP Development Podcast by Matthew Kamani. For any questions about this podcast or any other resources, visit www.c2bsolutions.co.uk or email php at c2bsolutions.org.uk. We hope you enjoy. And in your career, have you been in a situation where you want to leave the company or you hand in your notice and the company have sat down with you and are trying to keep you or try to you know, investigate what you want to leave and what they can do to keep you. Have you been in that situation at all before? Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay. Pretty much when it ends, um, it gets to an end in the contract. Actually, most of the companies that I left, that was the main conversation I had with them. Uh, yeah. They tried to understand uh, why I was leaving because I was the one motivating the, these actions. So I was the one seeking the new opportunities and i always let them know like um i'm looking for i I learned enough here Mm -hmm. and i'm looking for new challenges i mean normally when you show the company that their software is not a challenge for you anymore Mm -hmm. that means you probably won't fit in their budget even though they, they may try to keep you by raising your salary Mm. it only means you're gonna learn even more and the next time they may not be able to afford that yeah so that really depends on the company and the other factor is if you like the company but you are changing because you feel that you need a pay raise or you need a new challenge but you Mm -hmm. do like the company that type of chat may may change your mind for a couple more of years yeah so yeah it's valid it's totally valid but really depends on the offer (laughs) <laughs> fair enough what can uh, what do you think companies can do to keep their developers so I, I would like you to think of obviously I would like you to answer that question from a developer's point of view so and then I want you to um, answer from a company's point of view as well what do you think like what, what can they do more all right so um, from the developer point of view what the company can do to keep the talents mm-hmm. um, First, we are motivated by innovation. So mm-hmm. we like to use the latest technology. And I do understand that the companies can't really afford to use all the latest technologies because, as I said, um, there are a bunch of things in between um, implementing new technologies and really um, taking the full advantage of it in a short term. So... Basically, for the developer, I think the companies can offer them um, some sort of a hackathon or internal challenges. Uh, that's right. something that develop, developers used to do on their own. So they go to some events or even hackathons over the weekend, mm-hmm. and they take on this challenge to challenge themselves to understand how they have improved over the time. So if right. the companies try to implement this internally, so let's say there is a problem, um, the company needs to solve and they don't want to use the developer's time, like the whole team. If they implement that like over um, after hours or something uh, for a price, that might be something the developers would like to. But it's basically like a relationship. If mm-hmm. there is no innovation, it becomes boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What else can you, can you add anything else? Anything else the companies can do? Um, yeah, pretty much talking. I mean, the, the main issues in life, it's about communication. Mm-hmm. If you get to communicate more with the developer and if you get the feeling of how the, how it's going on over the developer's career inside the company, then you can uh, you can feel whatever it's time to change or not. Some developers just do, doesn't want to change. They are used to like nine to five and doing the same job so mm-hmm. i need to maintain apis where i need to um build new systems i need to uh, extend systems i need to convert this monolithic systems into uh, structured um, micro frameworks micro uh, microservices mm-hmm. or any other sort of tasks they do like to do continue uh, development so just keep them doing that but communicate try to talk to them and understand if that's what they are looking for Fantastic. Really good tips. Um, from a company's point of view, um, what, what do you think? 
from a company point of view, uh, in terms of keeping the talents, uh-huh. well, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, um, the company needs to. Okay, um, I know that it's it's quite complicated to listen to each of the developers in the team, but uh-huh. again, if you can improve the communication between all the sectors, uh-huh. um, maybe there is something that you can, um, for example, flexible hours. Right. It's not something that is going to hurt the company because, mm-hmm. being honest, um, if you have a test to finish a form on, let's say, tomorrow, Thursday, and the developer needs to work 9 to 5, if he starts at 10 and go to 6, it's mm-hmm. not going to impact anything. Yeah. So being a little bit flexible definitely help to keep the talents in, in, in house. Thanks for listening to this week's podcast. For questions, feedback, suggestions, or topics you'd like us to cover in the future, please email php at c2bsolutions.org.uk. Thank you.